In today's video, we will be exploring the primary source analysis project. I will be reviewing expectations, step-by-step -step directions, as well as a rubric of what is graded on this project over Western expansion. Step one is to identify if the source from the packet supports going west or not. You were handed a packet with eight different sources, both secondary and primary, and you are expected to ask yourself this question for each of the eight primary sources from that packet. Does this support moving west or does this support staying put in the east? If the source supports going west, put a W next to the number in your history notebook. If it supports staying east, put an E next to the number of the source in your history notebook. Keep in mind that the packet is a class set and should not be written on. All of your answers should be identified in your history notebook for further reference. When you're finished, we will grade these together and your teacher will explain each of the primary sources to you and generate some ideas of why or why not the source supports moving west. Step two is to choose what position you want to support. Our expectation is that you write which side you support in your history notebook to show your teacher. You have two options, support going west or do not support going west. And you will need to explain why or why not. Step three is to think of reasons why others should join that position. We want you to make a list of at least three reasons in your notebook. Why should you go west or why should you not go west? Our expectation is that there be three thoughtful, meaningful reasons written in your history notebook that show you support one position or the other. Step four is to reread the sources from the packet that support your side and pick two of them to include in your project. So for example, if I was to hold the position that I want to go west, I would go through the eight sources and identify which of those sources have a W next to them. Those are sources that I should choose for my project and include somehow to prove that others should move west too. For each of the sources that I choose, and I have to pick at least two of them, I am going to write in my history notebook how that source supports my, sub my position. And I'm going to add those reasons to my list unless they already match. So for example, if I picked source one, I'm going to write source one and, ex and call it what it's called. And then I'm going to ask myself, how does source one show that people should move west? And I will write my response underneath where I have identified source one. Now you're going to have a teacher check in. So after you have done steps two through four, you will check in with your teacher. You need to show your teacher the following written in your history notebook. One, what position you chose. Two, your reasons for choosing that position. Three, two or more primary or secondary sources you chose from the packet to include in your project. And number four, you need to show how each of the sources from the packet that you chose supports your position. And this needs to be in writing. When you show that to your teacher, your teacher will be grading it, an S for satisfactory or a U for unsatisfactory. He or she is also going to be looking to see, did you try your best? Now, if you are unsatisfactory, we are going to have you go back and rework or redo one of these steps so that you can be successful with the remainder of your project. Step number five is to either write the letter a poem or a song, draw a cartoon or comic strip, or design a brochure or advertisement poster that shows the, the position that you chose, the reasons why, and includes two primary sources interpreted correctly and explained of how they support your position. So we want to caution you. If you did a cartoon or a song last time and you did poorly on the project, 
we caution you to choose a different one this time because maybe a letter or a brochure might be a better fit for you. If you are doing a comic strip or advertisement, ask yourself this important question. How will you show your reasons and which sources you used in your picture? For some of you last time, these ideas were missing from the cartoon or comic strip that you drew. You have to show in your comic strip through captions, thought bubbles or speech bubbles, or in some other way, the following information. One, your sources. Two, your reasons. Three, how your sources support your position. And four, facts or information to prove to me that you know what is going on in history during this time period. Keep in mind, this project is in place of your test. So we want to be able to identify from the project what you've learned from the unit. Do not waste your time. We caution you not to make a rough draft. You've already done all the planning and thinking in your history notebook. Remember what you had done to show your teacher for the check-in? You are to use this information to create your project. Check the clock regularly. Focus on the content. If you do not get to color it or shade it in perfectly, I will not take points off for that. I will only take off points if you do not follow the rubric. And reminder, you have the rest of this class and after we go over the rubric together and all of next class to finish. Keep in mind, you may not do this project at home. This is not homework, this is in-class work only and we want you to do the entire project at school. So what about resource? We will allow one resource period if you have not finished in class, but that's up to the teacher's discretion and we may be able to take off a point or two if you're not able to finish in class and can only finish in resource. Keep in mind, we will have special exceptions for those of you who are absent during today's lesson or next class's lesson. Step six, reread the rubric to make sure that you included everything on your project. We want to make sure that we are clear with our expectations and what we will be grading. So let's take a look. The first area we will be grading is the use of sources. We're going to be asking you this question when we conference with you at the end of the project. How did you creatively use your sources in your project? You need to be able to show us and respond to this question. If you're performing, then you will have used two or more sources from the packet to support your point of view and reference them correctly. If you're progressing or below, you may not have used all your sources or perhaps they don't support your point of view. Now remember, how do you cite your sources? The right way for this particular source is to actually write what it is, a poster advertising land for sale. The wrong way is to write source one. Do not write source one on your project. Call it by its name, what it is. The second part that we're going to be grading are the explanations of how your source supports your point of view. So we're going to be asking you in our conference when we're grading it to prove to us how your source, each of them, supports your point of view. If you're performing, then you explained how each source supported your point of view with an explanation with a correct interpretation and analysis of the source that is clear, accurate, and makes sense. We're looking to what you're thinking. We want to know what you're thinking, so you need to be able to prove that to us. If you're just progressing, then maybe you explained some of how your source supports your point of view, or maybe one of them did, but you did not interpret it accurately, or you did not use your project to explain your source. The next part that we will be grading is your ability to evaluate, illustrate, or describe issues. So we're going to be asking you this question in our conference. What details and historical references did you use to prove your side? So if you are choosing the side to go west, you need to provide details and historical references that support and prove your side. 
If you're in the performing category, your ideas are organized and expressed clearly. And there are multiple, that means many, details and historic references. You need to be able to show through details, references, and meaningful facts that you know about this time period in history. This is very important because this project is in place of your test. We will also be grading your understanding of significant content and we'll be asking you to prove it through your project and show us that in our conference. If you're performing, your product demonstrates an understanding of the reasons behind the position was taken by those who supported going west or those who favored staying east during the 1800s. We want to know that you can put yourself in place of someone living in the 1800s and show from their perspective your point of view, whether they should move east or, excuse me, they should move west or stay east. Remember, you need to include those reasons on your project and be able to show us. We want to encourage you to use your history notebook. This is an open book project, so use your notes from our homework videos and our class activities. Remember the document analysis chart. This will also be very helpful to you. Show me what you have learned from our unit on Western expansion in this project, because this is your test. Finally, we will be grading your time management. What were the ways that you stayed on task, did the most important parts of your project first, and dealt with distractions? If you are performing, you used your time wisely and completed the writing, thinking, and researching part of your project before you decorated and added color and pictures. Remember, I am not grading how pretty your project looks. I am grading the content, what you thought, what you said, I am grading your thinking through this project. So let's get started. Step one was to identify if the source supports going west or not. If we did that in class and we've graded it, then you are finished with step one and you can move on to step two. Choose what position you want to support. Step three, think of reasons why others should join that position. Step four, reread the sources from the packet that support your side and pick two of them to include in your project. Just a reminder, after you are done step four, you must have a teacher check-in so that we can guide you and also keep you on task for the next section. Here is your last slide. Where are you now in the process? So steps one through seven are included here. Figure out where you are and get to work.